Rick, we'll do a cheer. <clears throat> now we're now we're real. We're real there. Oh, mercy! Oh, did you hear our our pre-show mantra? Break a leg, drop a stamp, spill some glitter, and no wait, <laughs> I can't even do it on purpose. Break a leg, you are, yeah, you could dance to it. Break a leg, drop a stamp. I was a cheerleader. Spills, sp oh, you were. Can you make cinnamon rolls? Yes, I was. <laughs> okay, we're gonna <laughs> let you go ahead and you. test your voice for Mr. Producer. Hello, my name is my name is Corin. I have a voice. This is it. <laughs> I can sing my ABCs too. That's what I always do. Oh, A, twinkle, B, twinkle, C, little star. <laughs> she knows no Sometimes uh, it's hard for me to adjust my microphone by myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She sounds fine. Do you want Tim to test? Okay, he's good. Then he's good. Tonight. This is this is Craft Roulette. If you have never been here, just stick around. We're going to have a show here in about... Eight minutes, and we are going to do some paper crafting, some card making, and it's all going to be on the fly. We have no idea what we're going to make yet. Ha ha ha! And we have a wonderful special guest. We have some wonderful people in the chat. It's going to be a fun night, Miss Corey. I'm ready. Let's I'm ready too. I know. I want to we get to the wheel, minutes. but we got to wait a few minutes. So, how's everybody doing? Oh, take a breath. You know, this is the week before Christmas. Oh, oh yeah. It's good. Ooh. Yeah, no kidding. Focus. Look at all those nice people in the chat. I, every one of them that I know, I like. <laughs> so, so, there's a fellow Marylander. You're from Mar Andy, yeah, Andy, are you yeah. in Maryland? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know. This is my Joseph's Coat of Many Colors shirt. <laughs> I was surprised. We were laughing because of the placement of the the top. Uh, so it's. I'm so jealous. You have below merch. The fold. I want a craft roulette shirt. Well, there is a that. link. <laughs> but yeah. this is this um, craft roulette placement is going to change. We're going to move it from below the fold so to speak and so that it looks a little more I feel like I'm on a rugby team or something I like it it's bright it's and it's got different I, colors it's all the I wear much more color now than I used to I used to never wear color at all yep this is our it's wheel colors rare, so. but I wear a yeah. lot much more color now <laughs> well, that's good I was out and about I have my purple shoes on and I've got this, sh this shirt on and I had a fuzzy vest. I was thinking, man, these people are going, look at that crazy old lady. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, well, I just smile. They can smile If back. I saw you, I would be like, I want to be friends with that person. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of person I want to be friends with. Well, you are. You are, you are. Fun. Fun deal. Hey, if you guys are here and you think of it and you think this is going to be a lot of fun, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and get that out of the way. We'd appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Daisy. You like my shirt? <laughs> I am wearing the wheel, Deputy Heidi. Now, you don't know all these poor people's nicknames that they have acquired over the 90 some shows but deputy heidi right there that said <laughs> i'm wearing the wheel um corrected me on a parameter during the show a couple weeks ago she busted me caught me doing a caught me being bad so i've been calling her deputy heidi so <laughs> <laughs> ah thank you sharon from the red chair in ohio <laughs> It's fun. Hey, Allie. Grandma Gay. Grandma Gay's thoughtful question so, of the day I that we always have one of those. <laughs> now, this Wait, is a I large, too. By the way, that. if you guys are thinking about this, this is a large, and it is it's super soft. I like it very much. It's not super thick, um, but it is it's large, so I... I I think it runs a little small-ish. 
You're going to wear yours tomorrow, Leslie. You're ready for to go. Way to go. I love seeing people in their craft roulette merch. You are the eyes, Deputy Heidi. Ah, <sighs> Friday Funzo. <laughs> you can turn his mic up for a minute. Corey's husband has a mic too, so this will be a fun night. If you if you are hearing a male voice, it's probably Tim's. I'm I'm only here to bust her chops when appropriate. <laughs> so if there's an opportunity to slide a little joke in, I'm gonna take a full advantage. We will like that. We don't have a lot of male viewers, Tim. Well, I was, we need I was a little. telling Corey just a few minutes ago, I actually have no idea what's about to happen because just like always, I did no homework on this whatsoever. So I'm coming into this <laughs> with absolutely no clue and no expectations. So I expect it will be pretty fun. Good. I know what to expect because I did do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're married. <laughs> the parody. Isn't it that the truth? Isn't that the truth? <laughs> well, it's nice to have you. It'll be good. Hey, Sue, I'm, you're here. I'm, I'm excited. I I want to see something. We don't often get a chance to see how other people do it. So it's right. It's nice. It's nice to be yeah. on someone else's show. I'm I'm really liking the whole ninja thing already. Like, you know, I've opened my eyes to something completely new already. That's excellent. Rose Ann Hendrickson, did you have your coffee in one of these mugs today? I made it into a little gift thing. Isn't it cute? Whoa. You will, you have to listen for the whoa. Whoa is a thing. There's a lot of things here on Craft Roulette that have developed into tr great tradition, and whoa is one of them. Um, in the What is Craft Roulette video, there's a little short video, and um, in it, Stephen, Mr. Producer, tells how many combinations that the wheel can provide at any one time based on the 24, 24, 24, 24 parameters. And it is 331,776 com com combinations. So there's no way to know what we're going to get tonight, really. But after he says that number, he goes, whoa. And you will see the chat room just... Whoa, 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 It's great fun. They're very fun. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> well, well, Roseanne Hendricks, did that woe mug make you more creative today? Drinking your coffee in it? I bet it did. Did you feel in touch with the parameters? Feel like you could do all sorts of things? 331,776 different things today? <laughs> Yes, yes, Mr. Producer does do a lot. Too many things. That That's would be a too many things. That would be a long list, wouldn't it? Oh, you know what time it is? It is time. What we're game gonna do time. is we're gonna. Game time. It is game time. It's show time. Um, so we're gonna take you off the screen for a few seconds, Corey, and then I'm gonna. Do a little housekeeping. Welcome everybody to Craft Roulette, um, and then bring you back in with the song and a awesome. dance. I hope so. Sit back, relax, and we'll get this show started. Thank you guys for being here in the chat. Thank you, Corey and Tim. We look forward to an evening together. Be right back. Awesome. American Fun Founder and Head Professor of Fun University and your intrepid hostess to Craft Roulette episode 92. I was looking at the calendar today and there's a cool convergence of events that happen on the episode 100 which will happen in February. I'm not going to tell you about it now but I've got lots to tell you about tonight. Okay, one, it's the week before Christmas. Let's take a breath. <sighs> Shoulders down. 
chest open. We're good. We're going to make this through. We're just going to have a little bit of diversion tonight, and I think it's going to be fun. We have a wonderful guest we're going to introduce you to in just a few minutes, and we have a special guest on her end, too. So stay tuned for that. If you are here, you've never been here, we are the Ultimate cra Paper Crafting game show challenge and we aren't going to be doing any teaching we're not going to do a voiceover kind of thing we're just going to be here and talk and craft and be surprised at what we end up with if you do think that's a lot of fun go ahead and give us a thumbs up we would appreciate it okay housekeeping i do have some housekeeping this is our Woe Mug. It is available only this month in December. And I made it up into a little gift thing. You may be too late for Christmas, but it won't be too late for a Valentine's gift. <laughs> but you can only get it this month. The merch, Mr. Producer. You can find it on our website, craftroulette.live. There is a link, and there's probably a link down in the description, as with lots of other things you can find down there. All right, that's one thing. Out of the way. Shh. Fun University is on sabbatical this week until January 4th, which is the first Tuesday, so there's lots of videos there if you want to watch them. But take a break, too. I am. I'm enjoying it. It's really hard not to go, oh, I could teach that. Oh, I could teach that, but I'm not going to. But we will come back with uh, um, Guns a Blazing on January 4th, which is Tuesday at 630 on our sister YouTube channel, Fun University. All right. Now, our announcement. I, I, I teased it today in our groups. If you have not been in our groups, you need to join us. We're a lot of fun. Um, but we are a community-sponsored program. We have a Patreon page, and you are always welcome to join it. The reason you may want to join it tonight or tomorrow morning is because we are going to have an all-patrons Zoom call, and I'm so excited about it. I know there's going to be some people on it that I have not met, and I am lo so looking forward to getting a face and some a voice with their names and their support, and I just want to... I would love to do it in person, but I can't, so we are look for, looking forward to it tomorrow. What brought this all about is... In our Facebook groups, we in the Fun University Lounge Facebook group especially, we have very, very clever, creative, giving card makers. And they have um, donated so many cards this year that I was looking at the numbers because we have a Madam Secretary who keeps count of all these things, Sherry Bradley. Thank you again, Sherry. And she posted the numbers, and we are close to 10,000 card donations in that group alone, and I want to get it to 10,000. So I thought, well, let's get the patrons together and have a card-making day. So tomorrow from 1 to 4, um, it will be open to all of our patrons on a Zoom call. We're going to have a card-making card day, and I'm so excited about it. So if you are interested, it's for all levels. There's a 5, 10, 25, and 50, but you are welcome if, for a 5 just for a month. I think it'd be worth it. I'm, I'd be in. Anyway, you're welcome. I'd love to have you on our Zoom call. Let me know if you have any questions later. We will remind you. But um, I think all that stuff's in the, in the description. Anyway, that's enough for that, and I will invite you again later. We do have a fun big night ahead of us. This is our last live show of the year, and um, I am happy to introduce you to a new friend of Crafters, Crafter, and her husband. I see her smiling, ready to go. Her name is Corin Whisk Whiskman. Yay! There Hello, you are. everyone. And there he is, and too. Tim. And Tim. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Welcome to Craft Roulette. Well, I'm really happy to be here. I'm excited. I've been really nervous about the wheel. <laughs> the, wheel the wheel's going to be nice to you. He I wants to so. be on Santa's good list. So. <laughs> I do. He, San, no, the wheel does. He wants to get... Oh, um, the wheel does? Yeah, he wants to get dusted. <laughs> I guess I never do any cl house cl cleaning, and he is gets that, a little is, dirty is, over the, the year. Is asking for this year is a thorough cleaning? 
Oh. Did you hear a him? Thro- a Thoreau cleaning. I will I will dust my book of poetry <laughs> by Thoreau, you bet. No. He said, <laughs> is the wheel asking for a Thoreau cleaning this Christmas? For Christmas? <laughs> He, he's on the wrong show. <laughs> he is, because we don't have that parameter. <laughs> no cleaning parameters. Oh, that would be a dirty, okay. rotten deal, wouldn't it? That would be terrible. Hey, this is your first trip to the wheel, Miss Corey, and we want to welcome you. We want to know a little bit about you for those few people that may not know anything about your channels or what you do. Okay. Okay. Uh do you have questions or should I just start talking? Because it just, could get dangerous. Just go for it, girl. <laughs> I am a mom of four. Uh, we live in Maryland and I've been crafting for a million years. Um, <laughs> I've always crafted something. Like My mom's a crafter. I come from crafty people. And I um, started making cards uh, probably when I was pregnant with my second kid. Um, and I, that's when I discovered stamping and then coloring like the stamped images and making cards. And I was hooked from then on. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but I didn't start sharing it online until much, much later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you're, you're a busy YouTuber. I know you're on Instagram a lot and you share lots of yeah. funny things. You're, you're kind of a nut. Yes. <laughs> I tried to, um, I tried to just keep everything really real Mm -hmm. and it's just how my day goes. So if you do watch me on Instagram, it's just literally my life. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, I don't know how interesting it is to other people, but I like it may using Instagram like that helps me keep, take pictures of those everyday moments that you wouldn't normally take a picture of. Mm-hmm. And I like it. So I, mm-hmm. I really enjoy sharing with everyone and I have a great community there. So, yeah, yeah. We, I love watching it. I always know it's going to be, oh, what's she doing today? <laughs> what is she overcoming today? Cause I know she's got something Sorry. that's, that's at chasing after her. So, yeah. Oh, and you <laughs> always win. You always win. I don't You're always win, tonight. win. I sometimes lose. <laughs> and that's, when, you, when I'm in a bad mood, usually I'm losing at something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're Doesn't winning tonight. Often. <laughs> you're winning tonight. Don okay. says you are a big Disney fan. You just went to Disneyland not too long ago. I went to Disney World in Florida. Dur- Disney World. Um, yeah, and um, I am. Yes, Don. I am a big Disney fan. <laughs> Do you have a favorite character? That- I Yes, I do. Who uh, is it? Scrooge McDuck. That's right. I saw that you say Scrooge. that. Yeah. What What do you like about him? I have him? a couple. Um, because he overcome he overcame adversity. You know, he's he was started out as the villain, but really he's a good guy. So you first kind of see Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge, in a Mickey's Christmas Carol, and mm-hmm. that character alone, you know, you see the story of you know, Ebenezer Scrooge, and then the character that they built in DuckTales, which is what I grew up on, this adventurous, like, uncle, you know, that has to uh, all of a sudden take care of his kid, like his nephew. Yeah. It's just, and he, that's and, my favorite. And the guy was loaded, so they had oh, all yeah. kinds and of he has, adventures. Oh, yeah, and he's so rich. Like, who wouldn't want to be Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> <Good> <laughs> he point. literally swims in money. <laughs> That's that's true. He is quite a character. I, I get that. He doesn't get much press. He's no Mickey. Uh, it's an unfortunate. That's unfortunate yeah. because he's my favorite. Uh, he only gets to really shine around this time of year. <laughs> and he has a Scottish accent too, right? Yes. And both Aye. sides of my uh, my parents are Irish. So, uh, you Aye. know, it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Celtic. You got to look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's all good. Well, I think we're in for a good night. Um, you've had a hard week. We've seen it on Instagram. We are ready to turn that week around with some good parameters. Um, favorites to do? What are you hoping for tonight? Um, honestly, I just 
I just want to know what the parameters are because I was trying to prep <laughs> for it. I was trying to like yeah. mentally like maybe pick some things out, but I was like, it's not going to work. Like I need to know what the parameters are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's that 331,776 so thing. It's really hard to prepare for. Right? <laughs> it is. It is. But I, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge. Very, very good. Okay. Well, if you are out watching this, if you could share this with a friend, that would be great. We'd love to have some more folks join us tonight. I know it's a real busy time of the year, but somebody may just be tired. And Mr. Producer has a Christmas wish. Mr. Producer wants to have 2,000 subscriptions for Christmas. So if you haven't subscribed to us, you can subscribe till the end of the year and then drop on. <laughs> but it would be at least Christmas till uh, December 26th, and then we'll be th- so thrilled with that. So go ahead and get those things taken care of. You will be able to find all of Corey's socials, if you don't follow her already, on craftroulette.live after the show. And you can go and subscribe to all hers because you're not going to want to miss her after you see her tonight. Well, Miss Corey, I am, and Tim, I am so happy to have you here tonight. And what we're going to do next, let you have a breather. And we are going to answer that age old question what is craft roulette? Whoa, 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 whoa. And then show last week's submissions, which there were many, but it's on a timer, so it goes pretty fast. So we had 97 sub- uh, uh, con- contributions last week. 97. That's, that's nuts. That's a lot. That's a whole bunch. That's in December. Yeah. I'm so impressed with these people. And they're all cute. There's all so much to learn from them. All right. There isn't a bad card. There isn't. There really isn't. I tried to make one a couple weeks ago and it was really hard because I kept going. But I, I anyway, can do it. I digress. <laughs> oh, I, I well, we, it. We, we want to see that bad it. card. <laughs> oh, I've done it. That's just All right. my game. Tim, I need to have you say, what is craft roulette? What is craft roulette? Well done, dude. We'll be right back. What is craft roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for, project, colors, element, and random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on youtube.com slash craftroulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week, we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. There we go. That's what we do every Friday night, 630 Central Time, right here on YouTube Craft Roulette. When you are always welcome to join us. We had quite quite a week. Weekend last weekend when we were getting contributions. We got 97, like I said. And Allie, yes, you still hold the record. Uh, Allie Cope still holds the record of 101. And so that brings us up to 4,256 total submissions over our lifetime of Craft Roulette incredible um we had our the four parameters we had last week an a2 size card which is a four and a fourth by five and a half we had to use three bright colors and we had to have include some sort of element that reminded us of the term cozy and we had to have some sequins or gems added to the card as well now the the rub on this one it was a pretty easy straight up week except 
Um, for the rub was the bright colors with the cozy kind of were a little offsetting, but you guys did super great. I love when you watch all these submissions, you get a load of all the different ways people interpreted cozy. It's just remarkable. You're going to probably want to take that blanket off here in a little bit because you're going to feel so warm and fuzzy. You won't want that extra blanket on. So let's go ahead. And that was my card. I had a little kitty with some bright colors. Then I made this one. It's kind of crazy. But I made it. And here's my our contribution map for last week. And look at all you everywheres. How fun. We even got our Ecuador back, didn't we, Chris? Well done. Welcome. Very good. We had Christine Bertram on. Looks like I, I didn't spell her name right. And she came up with a super cozy with her purple. She loves her purple, her card. And then she even sent in a second one, which was a double bonus. She wanted to try some different colors. We always have a lot of fun with Christine, and thank you so much for doing that for us. Now, it's time. I gotta get a drink. This is when I feel like Burt Parks, reading all the Miss America names. Are we ready? This is on a timer. <clears throat> Let's go. Shoot, Mr. Producer. Lou Ann Johnson, her 39th. Get a load of these numbers, you guys. Woo. Stacey, Stacey Freer from Montana, number 21. Ashley Bowen from Indiana, her 11th. Valine Mays from Oregon, her number number 41. You can look at those little parameters. Elaine Anderson from Utah, number 35. Very cozy. Sue Masoner, number 76. Anna York from Oregon, her 30th. Maybe a few more. Very cute. Melanie Foy from Arizona, number 33. Very Christmassy. Chris Pasmino from Ecuador. She did not know, and it's okay. Wendy Jarvis from Florida, number 43. Very cozy. Eva Ballon from Florida, number 49. That's a lot, Eva. Jennifer Hunstead from Minnesota, her 21st. Barbara Baldwin from Louisiana, number 3. Cute. Amy Olin from Washington, number 41. <laughs> Stacey Burns from New York, maybe 24. Lots of cups. Elise York from P Portland, her fourth. She's a junior crafter. Danica Burlingame from G Georgia, her 11th. Emma York, also a junior crafter, number five. Kim Wolf from New Mexico. She's a zero hero. She got to 30. Anne Moen from Wisconsin, 17, after, and she's back after four months. Welcome. Katherine Taylor from Washington, number 32. Angela Steinhoff from Wisconsin, couldn't stop. She's a zero hero with 50. Carol Sanquinetti from Indiana, number 42. Carol Karen C. from Maryland, number 25. Everybody like those cable knit sweaters. Mary Neighbor from Montana, 50, zero hero, number 23 for Sylvia Poldrashik in the UK. Karen F. from Wisconsin came in with number four. Number 56 for Kathy Herring in Wisconsin. Beautiful. Jackie Ripp, our second leader in with 77 from Florida. Number 31 for Teresa Parmenter in Massachusetts. Michelle Figueroa in Puerto Rico, her 12th, very cozy. Brian Dickey in Mississippi, his 10th, a zero hero. Well done, Brian. Susan McCune from Maryland, number five. Anna Moreno from California, her fifth. So cute. Elizabeth H. Fr from Laurel, it's her second. Really well done. Lena Marie's back with 31. Hope you're feeling better. Mary Moisen from Illinois, her 29th consecutive, and she made a video. Camille Ernst from Illinois, number 22. Lauren Taylor, a guest crafter, made her 13th, and she's in California. And her daughter, a junior craftette from California, made her 12th. Laura Ellis from England made her 22nd. She drew the lines. Cool. Gina Smith from New York, her 27th. Marie Stewart from Portland, 23, and it's got acetate. Kathy Pisupati from Arizona, someday she'll figure out how many. 
Arlene DeTizio from Pennsylvania, number 38. And Shackles from Australia, number 28. Isn't that funny how they get grouped? Katie Fowler from Pennsylvania, her second. We all enjoyed that one, Katie. Jackie Muller from South Australia, number 56. Grandma Gay Robeson came in with her 25th plus from Texas. Layla Harris from Everett, her five-ish. <laughs> That's a good number. 25 guest crafter, Ashley Young sent in a cutie. Rosie B. from Ohio sent in her 14th. Christina Bromier sent in her 50th in a row. Well done. Deanna Thomas from Missouri sent in her 16th. Very cozy. Arlene Finnegan from Pennsylvania sent in her 25th. Second submission for Tui Hardigan, who is Karen Goddard's mother. Margaret from Indiana. I'm going to mess up that name. Melody Sofol from California sent in her second. Very darling. Sharon Caster from the Red Chair in Ohio sent in her 28th consecutive. It was a mood board. It was cool. Lynn Sprangel from Wisconsin sent in her 33rd. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis, a great friend of the show, sent in her 69th consecutive. Gail Otto from Australia sent in her 22nd. Lynn D. from Indiana sent in her 13th. So sweet. Rebecca F. from Ohio, 20th. She got her zero. <laughs> She's a zero hero. <laughs> Kay Weir from Wisconsin got in her 39th. Mary B. from Missouri sent in her second. So many cats. Linda Gorman from Ohio sent in her 21st. Well done, you guys. Julie Sanders sent in, from Delaware sent in her 24th. Bright pigs. Jean Addis from North Carolina sent in her 9th. Deanna Roqueford from Washington sent in this cutie her 28th. 86th submission by Patty Beck. She's our leader. Bonnie Swalkowitz from Wisconsin sent in her 47th consecutive. These are outstanding. Rose Ann Hendrickson, who likes to drink coffee like this, sent in something. Chasid McBrayer sent in her 6th. We love it. Rose Duberstein from Arizona sent in her 45th. Rose, you're amazing. Bonnie Knack from Wisconsin sent in her 32nd. We talked about having that person on the show. Leslie Cool from Alabama, but she's a stamp. Number 6. Deputy Heidi Ryan from Washington, number 41. And Pr Amy Prather Smith sent in her first welcome. Lisa Hall from Alabama sent in her 16th. Cutie, cutie. Vicki Tillett from North Carolina sent in her 48th and sent me a box. Rachel Fancy Schofield sent in her 21st. Vicki Ruta from the UK sent in her 51st also for her dad. Dina Hilbrand from Colorado Springs sent in her 7th. Sherry Pemberton from Missouri sent in her 36th. Kim Blackburn from Texas sent in some number. <laughs> We're glad that you did. Cordelia Alderman from Georgia sent in her 11th. Really pretty. Karen Goddard sent in her 42nd from Australia. Smurf Murphy from California sent in her 52nd consecutive card. Alyssa 5K Lamone sent in her 58th. Lisa Taylor, this is a lot of cards, from Colorado sent in her 16th. Sue Brooke from Illinois sent in her 29th. Lisa Hunter from Virginia sent in her 9th. And it is so cozy in here. Lisa Welpley sent in her... Sent in her 15th from Illinois. Andy Zach from Maryland sent in her 10th. And, whoa, that's 97 cards plus mine. That's amazing. <laughs> it, is, it is. And they're all so fun. And you also send those into Facebook so we get to see them over the weekend and talk about them and love on you guys, too, for being such great submitters and, and contributors 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 so we thank you so much for being a part of our life love it love it love it if you want to see those all slowly and at your own time to be inspired you can go to craftroulette.live and click the gallery you'll love it well done let's see what we come up with this week because it's time to bring Corey back on 
Yay! <laughs> that was a lot of cards. Yeah. Are you sure you want that list to grow? <laughs> I was thinking that when I was <laughs> when I was reading all of those. It sounded like you needed a break <laughs> and a drink. Do you guys have a limit? Because like I could really inspire some people to send in some cards, but I don't want to ruin your show. <laughs> No, I think we can always do, I, I think we can always do, um, have more inspiration. Always, always. But we may end up having to have some breaks. <laughs> yes, when we, we have had spinoff shows based on the submissions, but they were getting too long. So, um, because I wanted to talk about each one of them and I talk a lot and I <clears throat> dissect and, and find goodness in everything and so it was getting to be a two and a half hour show <laughs> just to go through the submissions and that was way before we had 90 and 80 routinely so yeah it we just change it when we need to we'll change it but yeah well, it'll be interesting how many uh, now this is the week before christmas so i don't know and they only have till sunday at midnight so there are some Do they have to do it in real time? I mean, with, a, with whatever time that the guest had, or is it at their own No. Time? No, that's a great question, Tim. Nope, they, they don't. They have till Sunday at midnight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you could play along, too, if you want. You really want me to make Absolutely. a bad card? <laughs> there are no bad cards. I disagree. Okay, we'll let the chatterboxes <laughs> tell us. Hey, chatterboxes, what do you say? Should Tim make a card this week? Sandy Boone's Trust husband, me. Travis, he made one. It was good, Tim's too. Tim's level he of effort will not be good this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. That's reasonable. That, that is reasonable. Because it's a, it's a busy time. And, and it's okay. But you know you're always welcome. Okay. Well, it is that time, then. We have Let's to face it. the wheel. Are you right? I know, I know. It's that moment when you I can mean, see. Legit, like, everything. I mean, she. I, it, somebody in the in the chat said that she looked nervous, and I well, mean, I'm across the I room mean, from her and I can. Feel I always it. look like this because I have a heart condition. But <laughs> 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 yes, I am. <laughs> now that makes me a little nervous, <laughs> but we'll be okay, right? I know CPR. We're good. Yeah, that's okay, why good. Tim's here. <laughs> that's good. We're glad you don't. You just stay right there because I can't reach through the screen so yeah all right good all right we always give our patrons oops oh i got ahead of myself these are what we these are the parameters we always spin for a project colors some kind of element and a random thing to make life just a little more interesting as you can see each okay. one of them have 24 options which gives us that 331,776 um possible per permutations and um we spin in just a few minutes but we always give our patrons a veto right and this week what they vetoed that makes the wheel not dictate these things to us they the wheel cannot make us use the colors green blue red and one you can still use it if it works within the parameters that we get, but the wheel cannot make us do those four colors. The wheel cannot make us <laughs> do this element in the kitchen. That was like a resounding almost sweep of the patrons. They were like, no, 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 to the in the kitchen. And they did not want a three item cluster. So there we go. Now, this is the time where we say to our guest, is there something on that board that would make you cry, make you want to turn <laughs> off the camera, run home? You are home. Like in any of the columns? Yep. Hmm. Nothing that just makes you go, no, nope, I can't do that one. Nope, 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 nope. The, where it says three anal Jesus. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Colors. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anna, Anna, I've never heard of that, that pronunciation. Just, just, Analogous. Just that's off. just. Um... <laughs> that's 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 how Baltimore. <laughs> that's oh, there you go. There you go. Um, that's analogous. They're actually very pretty. It's like the greens, blues, green blues, or pink, purple, reds. Yeah. It's the three colors on a color wheel yeah, together. I've heard, I've... <laughs> yeah. But or, I, I, I don't... I, 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 and I just wrote on myself, too. Um, <clears throat> She's a professional. I, yeah. I, just cross that one off. Let's go. <laughs> That's, you know what? Christine, our guest last week, also chose that. So... Yeah, there, there seems to be a thing. <laughs> I just don't know what to do about this. I, I thought I it was a pretty good know what ter- parameter. Or, yeah, the, the tertiary color. I don't know. Tertiary? Just, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That would be bad for me. <laughs> she doesn't want to do I don't think that's on there. Do this. I don't, I don't think that's on there. Thing. Well, we always, you know what? We always break it down before we get started anyway. All right. Well, we're ready then. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> We're going to do a warm-up spin. And then we'll spin for our project. <laughs> yeah, we'll call that an icebreaker. That's right. <laughs> and for our project tonight... <laughs> Shaq snorted. Huh. Number 14, a gatefold card. That'll be good. That's a good, solid, easy card. You know, I looked at that and I'll, that was like, that was close. That was a close second. <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you will love how easy it is. It really is easy. I've got a real fail-safe way to do it. Colors, here we go. Blue, green, and one. That's almost analogous, depending on what you choose for your one. So, but that's okay. Element. These will be on the screen, so y'all don't have to write them down if you don't want to. Yeah, right, Lisa. I better teach on analogous. In or under the tree. That's the element we'll be working with. And then our random one, just to throw us off. Hi, Miss Carrie. Sixteen. Tied. Something has to be tied. And I'm not talking our guest. We don't want to tie her up. Okay, so we're going to have to make something that's a gatefold, blue, green, plus some other color in or under the tree, which could be easily done with some green, and something tied. All right. Miss Corey, what's that brain of yeah. yours doing right now? What's it thinking? How do you fold? What's your what's your gatefold trick? Let's do it. Let's do it right now. You take an eight and a half by five and a half, just like a a regular piece of eight and a half by mm-hmm. eleven cut in half. I usually try to. Oops, are you there? Okay. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm listening to you. All right. On this side, on this side, I fold the left side in first to about what I think is going to be halfway, close enough, halfway. And you can kind of just bring them in until they meet and have both of those edges meet and then walk the edges down. So that's a gatefold. Oh, and what did you say the measurement was? They are just, well, the idea is that they meet in the middle. So this would, oh, it's just like doing um, an A2 size card. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if you do think instead of four and a four, think two and an eighth. But then if you want to measure two and an eighth on one side and then just bring the other one over to match, I find that to Mm -hmm. be the easiest. So, yep, that's an easy gatefold. And people can do all sorts of interesting things. And I don't even think it has to be right in the middle. So I think you can go off to the edge and do different things. And then they often put a focal point right here that hangs over. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. So it won't be too bad. 
let's talk about this blue, green, and analogous plus one. <laughs> let's um, <laughs> which would be fired, man, aren't <laughs> blue, blue, green, and uh, yellow, green is an analogous combination. So, um, I have this. this what do you think would go good with? It? Go down to the paper cam again, please. Okay, so what all analogous colors are, are just the ones that go in a row. The ones that are, are neighbors, colors that are neighbors. But we don't have to okay. do that. But we, for tonight, we have blue, green. And so if you want to think about some, if you did think blue, green with that, those two, you would have an analogous color scheme. Uh -huh. There's also lots of colors in between on these lines, on each one of these lines, too. Uh -huh. So there's not like you have to do one thing or the other, but um, like you can do the dark and the light and the, you know, whatever. But what do you like with blue and green? And with the I tree there, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I use, I use blue and green the most because I build a lot of scenes. Yes. So sky and, and ground. Would you do us? <laughs> would you? Oh, and our our neutrals because we are a benevolent people here. Our neutrals are free. You can always use black, gray, white, cream, tan, and metallics too, just because we're nice. And so those okay, don't even so count no as the extra color. one. You're just gonna have to pick one color. One, okay. Just one additional color with your blue and green, and then whatever neutrals you have. Okay. And we can put, go back to your face for a minute if you want to. Oh, sorry. There we are. <laughs> You're fine. We don't usually go up and you down get, and up and down, but it's okay. We're good. Do you get just flexible. one green and one blue? Do no, I get you can have different shades. You can have different uh, shades. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to. We want something pretty. In or under okay. the tree. So you, you've got that blue and green. I think well, that might be really pretty with the blue and green stuff going on. Or do you, are you thinking a scene? Um, I'm not thinking a scene right now. Am I supposed to divulge my, my, my no? thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> well, just one kind of, it's kind of like, okay. can we help you? Um, I'm can we help you formulate? I'm thinking like just using uh, cardstock, blue and green, different blue and green cardstocks to um, make a tree in the begin in the front. Cool. You know, like that uh, gatefold um, focal image. Yeah. I uh, like that's it. all I got right now. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a good start. That's a good start. I think you got it. I think you got There's it. There's a tree. And it has to be under. In or under the tree, but it doesn't have to. Mr. Producer is <laughs> is stretching these parameters as he does. He says it doesn't have to be a tree; it just has to be something that would be in or under a tree. So presents are good, ornaments are good, critters are good, birdhouses are good. There's a lot that can go in a tree. Toilet paper. And it could be any tree. And it could be any tree. Didn't have to be Christmas. Leaves. Yeah, I know. This and is it kind has of to be tied. And you have to have something tied. So I'm thinking like a the bottom of a tree, for me, a bottom of a tree with some ornaments that are tied. That's something kind of easy. So, but pretty and fun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a pickle in a tree. That's a good one, Ellen. That we <laughs> there is that you know, pickle. I don't in think I have any German pickle thing. stamps. I don't have <laughs> any pickle stamps. You know, I don't think there's enough pickle stamps made. Have you ever seen I a pickle stamp? Any. Oh, I'm sure I have because you know like you it's had a Christmas a pickle, pickle. Stamp before. Huh? I feel like you had a pickle stamp before. No. <laughs> or a pickle die. Maybe a jar of I pickles. I might have had a hot your... dog. Maybe it was a hot dog. Well, We're getting off topic. That's not helpful. Indeed. You could make it. You could make a hot dog under into a pickle. Yeah, just make it green. Hot dogs can be or under a cucumber. the tree. Hot dogs are 
would be a great <coughs> gift. <laughs> Everybody would I mean, be happy on Christmas morning if they got hot dogs. I think my dad got sausages and cheese, Pepperidge Farm or whatever <laughs> the box. Farms. Hillshire Farm, yeah. whatever the box of summer sausage and cheese, nuts. Yeah. He used to sit there and eat his crate of man food and watch A team. <laughs> what you doing, fool? And that's my dad. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, that's a good memory. That's it. Is. I like it. I like it. Okay, well, let's so let you I, go I ahead. Get started, or should I? Yeah, gather we're gonna things? let you off. We're gonna let you off the show for a few minutes to gather some stuff. You could be in touch with Mr. Producer. You can ask him questions. Nobody else will hear you, and um, let him know when you're ready, and then we'll bring you back. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it real well. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> hot dogs grow on trees yes they do hot dogs and money grow on trees um we do have some mail to show this week let me show you this i don't have anything from fun university so <laughs> this is our address it's mary gun fun at p.o box 480566 kcmo64148 and i got some good stuff today from Brenda Gentry, I got a cute little calendar. Look at that. How cute is that? Adorable. It's on a it's on a little trifold so I can set it up, which is very helpful because I'm really bad at calendars. And she sent a beautiful, beautiful card. Don't you love it? With a little note in it that touched my heart. I loved it so much, Brenda. Thank you. We do have a card exchange group that's growing and it's so much fun. I got this. Oh, this is a gatefold right here from my friend Aileen. And it opens up. It has this little shutter thing inside. She's very fancy. Very talented. Her lines are always straight. I don't get it. But I appreciate that a lot, Aileen. Thank you so much. Heather Huang sent me a... a oh, this, my gosh. Is this a gatefold, too? I did look at these earlier. She sent a long kind of gatefold. That's real. Look, she put the gatefold on top of a piece. So that is like, let me shoot those numbers for you here. This is 11 folded at two, folded at two and four. Flip it over and do it two and four again. That's that's pretty cool and timely there, Miss Heather. Thank you so much. It's cute, too. Those are birdhouses. Those could go under a tree. This could be my submission. I don't get, No, wait. There's green. Oh, there's red. I just have to put a little blue on it. Thank you, Heather. This is a pretty card. I forgot who. Sherry. Sherry sent it. I like how she has that little vellum to soften it. Isn't that pretty? Lovely. Thank you, Sherry. Look at her fancy envelope. Love it. Really thinks of it all. Our submission leader, Patty Beck, sent this cutie pie. Oops, I went too low. Nice. She's got a nice little thing with Patty's handcrafted. She has um, not missed a sh sending in a submission since episode five. <sighs> What a girl. Connie Shana Schoenhofer sent this cutie. Love it. We used to see um, Connie every once in a while and haven't since COVID. Miss you, Miss Connie. Thank you so much. And this is a card from the great one, Julie Carrier. And the great Julie Carrier. And when I saw this card online, I said, oh, my gosh, I felt like I needed to dress up to look at this thing. But I so I got my new shirt on so I can show it to you. Isn't this something else? And I know it opens because I read the inside. There it is. So it opens. It's a slim line. But that's pretty spectacular. Thank you, Miss Julie. She is one of our guest crafters and Ellen Card Monkey. <laughs> We do have a bunch of different names around here. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis gave her the name The Great One, or The Great Julie Julie Carrier. So, very fun. All right, that is all I have on that. Um, 
Just another reminder that all patrons will be able to be on a Zoom call tomorrow as we try to hit 10,000 cards as a submission level um, or for donations this year, which is an astounding number. We would love to have you on that call. call. You just have to go down into the description and find out how to be a patron. So, all right. Okay, what am I going to do? I've got my gatefold already ready. I think I'll probably use that, but I really liked Heather's. Let me pull hers out. Oh, that's not her. That's not the right pile. I may pull hers out and do it again. Just because I think you guys might like it too. Um, blue, green, plus one. I think I'll probably do blue, green, plus, plus red. Maybe a little red. And then in or yeah. under the tree. I think I'm going to do like a little focal point right in here. And um, put some branches at the top. And have some stuff hanging down. Maybe Kerwin. I saw somebody suggest a cat have Kerwin down at the bottom, which seems like a good idea, too. So, I like that. And then tied, I'll just tie something. Oh, that could be Kerwin. Kerwin with a little bow. He's so cute. Kerwin is my cat. And uh, we close the door now so he can't come in because he sometimes takes over the darn show. So, okay, let me see what I got for green. <laughs> Might do a little ink blending. So I'll grab those. And again, when you're doing your greens, it doesn't have to be like one green. You can um, have a whole, whole bunch of light to darks in the same general family. It's just fine. Um, blue, what's a pretty blue? I don't think I'm going to blend with that, so I'll get those out. And if I have a, I know I have a cat stamp. I think I need to re-ink that guy, but um, I'll get that. And then maybe some red. My, my ink pads always look so terrible. <laughs> But there are tools. They're not jewels. The reason this one is so terrible is because I recolored, I inked it with Catherine Pooler colors because I didn't have the other. And I wanted to see if it worked, and it worked fine. So I was glad about that since I did it. All right. All right. For my focal, I think I might get a little paper, too. Because I think... Corey's going to come back on. She's going to talk about what she's going to do while I go get a little paper. Come on in. Tell us what you up, you're up to. Okay. So I have this older sets, older sets of dies from Paper Tray Ink. <clears throat> they are these little trees. So I think I want to use to make a gatefold and then have that little focal element here, but using a couple different shades of blue and green. Oh, those are pretty. Can you guys see that? These are all the colors. And this one's like spellbinders, so. Um, uh, I need a die cutting machine. <laughs> I can't help you. I, you want me to hand one over to you? <laughs> no. I've got nah, plenty. You got, oh, okay. She's You're only good. got like You're six good. of them within <laughs> immediate reach. So I don't think she needs any help there. How many do you use, though? I use them all. There you um, go. Bingo. That's the answer. But, I mean, there's a few that I've bought that I, I didn't really like, so they kind of sit around more oh, so gotcha. than the other ones. But um, I use all the sizes that I have. Like, there's three main sizes to a die-cutting machine. It's like the really big one or a six-inch one or a small one that's like three inches. And I have all those sizes. <laughs> so which one do you tend to go to more most often this is the platinum six which is, has like a six inch base um that's the one i use probably the most 
but there's definitely times that I have to break out the, the platinum, which is the bigger platform. It also uh -huh. holds an entire eight and a half uh, by 11 piece of paper. So you don't have to like, I just cut my paper in half to, to cut out this tree. And with oh, okay. the eight and a half by 11, you don't have to do that. Right. If that makes right. sense. So have you ever gone into the um, electric cutters, the scan and cut or crickets or anything? I have Do you ever use those much? Both a, I have both a scan and cut and uh, I just bought myself a Cameo this year, a Silhouette Cameo. Because um, I wasn't using the scan and cut to do anything other than cutting out stamped images. Yeah. Um, and I wanted... A, a good machine to play with that I could do a lot of things. I wasn't um, like 100% happy with the skin and cut, and it's an older machine. It probably, I probably need to update it. But um, so I wanted something new, and I love the cameo. Man, love I it. saw the frugal crafter talking about her scan and cut. I was so close. <laughs> it was. I. It was like, oh, that it's, sounds it's, pretty fun. <laughs> but it's a great machine. I use it to cut out things because I hate fussy cutting. And oh, it's okay. The best technology I've seen uh, to cut out lined images. But if it, if it's no line, or um, you want to cut out things like the interior of images, at least my scan and cut doesn't do that. So yeah, you're right. It okay, might be because it's old. I don't. I don't remember what she. They might she be better technology. About that. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't do it. I didn't pull the trigger. I've been using reason, my cameo. Reason grabbed a lot. me. Your your cameo. Mm-hmm. Well, a I lot. don't know anything about them, <laughs> but I have a cricket that is a needs dusting it's kind of like my wheel but my wheel gets a lot more action from than my cricket but i i don't know i just fussy cat yeah i i'm terrible i'm a terrible fussy cutter like it's really well, <laughs> it's... it gets pretty gnarled up uh -huh. oh i should have done the what do you need i cut the smaller tree and i should have cut the bigger tree Reset. <laughs> Reset is right. How much Morgan. time do you guys have? <laughs> Here, I'll put... This is what I'm doing. <laughs> Again. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Why, that looks almost analogous. Well, good, because of the words that I make. <laughs> it's going to be our vocabulary for the week. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was thinking about uh, vocabulary words recently. I don't remember exactly when, but recently because when I tutored, I would put really fun words up. It was at an elementary school, and I would put really fun words up that they'd never heard of. And one of their favorite was kerfuffle. And I was I was thinking about how j these elementary kids just loved the word kerfuffle. <laughs> it was really fun. Such an easy word to love. Like analogous. What okay, does kerfuffle so this mean? Is, it's a it's kind of a dust up. It's kind of a fight, a little fight. Have a little kerfuffle with somebody, okay, a spat. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good word. <laughs> You know, my green may be blue green because of this paper. Oh, it's it pretty blue green. green. But I, I lack a I lack a blue green. It's funny because I really love gray. Gray is like my go to color for everything. I do too. Um, but I have the I have the most green and blue cardstock out of anything. Which is weird. Mostly I think for because I do scenes. Oh yeah, I make scenes in blue and green, you know, sky and grass. It's, yeah, <laughs> you have to have those. I don't like this green. So pretty much any time I see green or blue that I don't have, I I grab it. 
Okay, I'm trying to now, decide I'm back to where I started. I'm just going to try it and see what it looks like. I've changed my mind several times, but that's not unusual. Okay, all right. Now we're getting serious. I'm just going to use that like that so you won't see that crazy pattern. You like you're really good at kind of clean looking cards. Am I right or am I crazy? I I really like uh clean and simple cards, yeah, but I don't know if yeah. I'm really good at it. <laughs> well, I think I think we would find quite a few people that say you are. So you don't have to because others have said it. So mm. take that's a good place to be. I think there's going to be my little Kerwin right there, a little tree branch and a little ball hanging. Am I going to end up having to, I think I am going to end up having to, uh, I couldn't find my stamp that has the tree branch on it. Is this going to look good? Oh, Andy, you're a riot. <laughs> what is she saying? <laughs> What's happening? And Andy wrote, does Tim have any gatefold card ideas yet? I'm over here ordering sushi. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'm hungry. He's not. I know. I know what he's doing. <laughs> I wonder if I could make a blue green. Well, he's just hanging in there. So so okay, one to one to ten. Is it one being the easiest, ten being the hardest? So far, how do you think this is going? Is it really hard or going okay? And how can I make it well, better? Well, I mean, there's a little bit of anxiety <laughs> about like, me like taking too long. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well that we're here as long as we wanna be. As long as we can keep Tim happy happy. I gotta tell that to my children that are upstairs. Uh, well, I mean, I I, 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 look, the only thing that's going to, the only thing that ever gets between me and anything else is, is hunger. So as long as, you know, as long as DoorDash and things like that are still working, man, you can keep me happy forever. <laughs> well, that's pretty simple. I'm trying to test my green. I'm a, I'm a very easy person. Okay. Well, that's not a bad thing to be. It's actually a good place to be. Okay, so tree, 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 tree. I, I'm going to look one more time. For, I know I have a branch, a tree branch, and I want it. So let me ask you one of our patrons' questions of the day just for you, Miss Corey. Are you ready? And Tim can answer, awesome. too. From Lisa yes. Welpley, she asks, How do you decide which of your projects you post on Instagram versus... Oh, what you post on your blog. Do you post different things? Um, sometimes. I um, I take a lot of pictures. <laughs> Here. I take a lot of photos. And um, so I and I try to keep my Instagram feed interesting, like whatever pops up uh, you know when you first look at it. And um, so I tried to look at what I last posted and make the next picture something different. Um, oh. I always do like a traditional, like full card down facing photo on my blog, because that's the first thing you see when you go to my blog. So I want you to click on that to, there's different, there's different reasons why you post certain pictures where and right sometimes i'll post more pictures on my blog or more pictures on instagram lately it's been a lot all all my pictures usually go on instagram except for like the marker i make like a marker color map and um i don't usually put that on instagram anymore because i benefit to it so i i stop uh -huh. doing it huh. um Did that well, you, answer the question? Pretty, that's pretty <laughs> intense thinking about what you what you post. Do you give um, do you give posts like a trial? It's an artistic expression, I think. <laughs> do you give posts like a trial no. or anything, and you have a spreadsheet on it? I've had this kind up for this top long, and it gets this kind of no. reaction. And no, no, good, totally winging it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good. I was a little concerned. I was in over my head. And really, it's um, and really, sorry, it's not um, it's not like my uh, my necessarily like anyone else's reaction to it except mine. Like I don't like that picture that way. Next time, I'm going to do it differently. <laughs> so it's not always um, someone else or someone someone else's reaction that I'm looking at. It's just mine, right. really. So I have you, I know we've talked mm. about this on the show before, um, or somewhere I've talked about this, where you have a card and you think, oh man, this is a great one. Everybody's going to love it. Oh and yeah. You post, and you post it and there's like crickets, <laughs> so, serious crickets. Yeah. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, isn't that awful? We have a here in the house. Every once in a while where she'll, she'll ask like, you know, she'll, take a collection of cards around to each of us and ask us to give it a grade, which is always dangerous, but <laughs> it is dangerous. And, and we, well, my kids don't lie to me. No, we're all very <laughs> honest about it. So if it's a C card, we're straight up telling her it's a C card. And we, we always are surprised to see how even all six of us that live in the same place, we grade it all differently. You know, right. it's, it's, and, and we all see it. In, in a different way and she'll either you know even the cards that she you know really doesn't like and isn't fond of that you know they'll do fantastic or will love them there's a few of them in particular that have been that way <laughs> it is funny and it's um i think it's so personal to cho what you like well i feel the like card. they're Just... really i'm really truthful when i mean that there isn't a bad card I just feel and, like there. if you sit down to make somebody something, I don't care if it's just words on the paper. Yeah. There isn't a bad card. You're expressing yourself in some way creatively, whether it's right. written words or pictures and colors. And um, so I, I want to encourage everyone to express themselves in that way. So you'll never uh, hear me critique a card in a negative way, unless it's my husband, really, because <laughs> I know he can take it. And, um, and I deserve it. Also. And it's just fun for us. But really, there's no one else except him that can make a bad card. <laughs> I can stand You're on my very arm elite better person. than almost everybody, though. Oh, I, I'm have, sorry? I have very significant status. And almost anybody yeah. else you've ever met. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happened. How's that? Okay, that's, that's got some background. What is that? <laughs> You've stamped on your arm on purpose, we or were, what's the deal? We were have we were live uh, on her uh -huh. channel uh, maybe six months ago, and we were having the dad challenge where we were just having bad dad jokes, and uh, all the <laughs> all the dads. We were four of us. We were all um, making a card in similar fashion to what you guys are doing, although there weren't nearly as many parameters. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, I'm I'm not an artist. I am a, I'm, I'm many many things, but I'm I'm not a I'm not a paper artist more so than anything right. else. And so I'm way outside of my element. And everybody else that's there is you know, significantly more capable than I am in this department. And while we're <laughs> sitting there, I dropped my left forearm directly into a um, archival ink pad. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until much later in the broadcast where I couldn't figure out where all this black ink was coming from. And oh, yeah. I do know yeah, there what was that's a, like. There, there was a four-letter word that came out live on YouTube, and <laughs> I, I, I messed it all up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So when I did my pre-show mantra about dropping a stamp and spilling glitter and all oh, those it, kind of things. It hit, hit well it, close to home. Oh, man, I don't want that. That's cute. Well, how did your card turn out? What grade did you get? Did you find it over there? Uh, no, the, card, the card's the card gone, um, thankfully, I think for, for everybody's sake. <laughs> um, but I, it, was a, it was a light up card. And I, be I believe I survived the hour. Um, I, I, I put like a bunch of, I don't remember what I did. There was a, a bunch of little monsters kind of like floating around in the air. 
I, I don't even think I gave him ground. In fact, I think that was one of the one of the comments that came in, like, hey, Tim, why are all of your people floating? Well, I, <laughs> I didn't give them any anything. Yeah, he didn't ground his characters. Again, so. Oh, the things Mary, that are so can, easy to miss. You, What's did that? you say the score marks for the gatefold card? What what measurement to score it at? Yeah, it's basically, um, so if you're thinking of a card, an A2 card front, if you're going to do this size, uh -huh. you know this is going to be yeah. four and a fourth, this size. And so right. make it, make one size, one side two and an eighth. And then you can just okay, fold it over eight. the other side and have it meet. And then you only have to measure once. And you don't have to worry about, oh, did, it, did I score this right? Blah, blah, blah. At least that's what I do. But you can always flip it then and do two and an eighth on the other side, too. So, how's that? Is it working for you? Are you doing it right now in front of our eyes with bravery and <laughs> the intrepid guest? <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> I'm going to redo it. Yeah, I don't like that. I do. But <clears throat> I got the right measurements now. But. You're you're well on your way. You are <sighs> gonna do it just fine. I'm gonna find. I'm. I think this was too long, so I'm gonna find something for a the little sentiment right there. Oh, that one might fit. I I can tell you that this is my very first gatefold card. Yeah, you would be surprised how many times a guest has never made a, a card and they get it. The wheel knows. It senses your weakness. <laughs> it senses where you need to grow. <laughs> and then it just attacks. It's a good wheel. You'll it's a good it's a good fold. It's um it just kind of steps you up because any card that would be bought would never have a gatefold. I don't think. Maybe. I don't even look but at them anymore. <laughs> so I, don't I was know. in the post office today post and they office. had some really cute ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't but bother they, to look at them. The ones at the post office were very dimensional and I thought... That's going to be extra postage right there. <laughs> They've got this figured out. Here's my little Kerwin. Yeah, they, they know bed. you already forgot to send a card. So you're at the post office. Here's a card to send. Oh, by the way, here's an oversized card that's going to cost more money to send it. So That's at right. least a they half an a, inch thick. They've got it. Oh, yeah. They've absolutely got it on lock. And I'm way messier for the craft roulette than I normally am. Like, I feel, like, not rushed, but, like, I don't know. I feel some kind of way. So I'm just leaving things that I wouldn't normally, like, clean up. I would normally clean it up. Oh. <laughs> oh. We always have a big, I always have a very expressive desk when I leave after craft roulette. Yeah. There's usually quite a bit of I'm action. actually a really obnoxiously clean crafter. <laughs> oh <I'm sorry>. my! <laughs> yeah, well, I can't help you with that. I there you go. It's looking good, looking strong. There's there's some stuff. All right. We even have a word uh -huh. here on uh, Craft Roulette that describes what my desk is mostly like, and that word is mesk. Because it is a messy desk. And it's always messy. <laughs> so we all talk about our masks and we know what we're talking about. But if you Corey don't have a I mask, have, I, uh, I'm all over it. Uh, we used to share a um, we used to share an office upstairs. Oh. <clears throat> and she had a our desks kind of butted each other face to face when we sat down together. We could look at each other. Um, she made me put a, a like a Lexan shield onto my desk to prevent <laughs> my mesk from invading her I desk, <laughs> and that's that's a one hundred percent true story. She put up a little clear wall. 
So that kind was, of like between <laughs> Dwight Shute and uh, what, what was his name on The Office? Jim. <laughs> yeah. Jim. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Jim and like Dwight. That. Yeah. Because, uh, and we have a very similar relationship, you know, how like they like to tease each other and oh, annoy each other. That's, how it was, that's, what it, that's what it's like to share an office <laughs> with my husband. So, but you I mean, survived. Oh yeah, and we had I all miss the... him now because I don't have Aww. it. Yeah, we sweet. had all the great things too because we had like all the kids' toys. So you know, we just went with like guns, light each other up for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> you know, it was great. It was Our whole family does that though. Our so I think are fun. I think when people think of you, Miss Whiskman, they think, oh, of a fun uh-huh. crafter. You bring a uh, quite a bit of ele- an element of quite a bit of playfulness to crafting and there's a lot of not playfulness crafting (laughs) videos and youtubers out there and so i think that's i think that's a lot of your appeal i totally agree with you have a good time i I, um that's my goal really uh is just to i love card making and Mm -hmm. i want other people to love it and Mm -hmm. i therapy out of it quite frankly um to sit down here and color and kind of zone out and make a card and i love the social parts of it like i love having right. different events and um getting to craft with my friends you know that's yeah. that's really why i started sharing online is because i started playing in challenges and i so you need a blog or some kind of way to share your project Right, and that's kind of what what started it. I just wanted to make some crafty friends because really, my my real life friends aren't crafty. <laughs> my mom I is, understand. but she's far yeah. away. Yeah, and yeah. Um, so, and I don't want to offend any of my real life friends that are could be watching. <laughs> right? No, I get it. They're not. Right. They it. <laughs> yeah, that's the rough thing. Right. They'll get it. They know, yeah. They know, yeah. And honestly, like, I I really, really like it. I'm so glad that I did this because this community is amazing. It's It's amazing to meet people like you and um, and just share a a fun hobby. Yep. Yep. I know. I know. It's just, um, I think, I think one of the things I like to hear most is oh i never tried i never thought i'd try that never thought of that uh thanks and thank you for the wheel they're always thinking the wheel thanks for <laughs> to the wheel for stretching me on this and mm-hmm. and making it making me think of things to do that i never would have thought of and i love that and it's low stress oh my gosh got to keep it low stress yeah i want to um I just want to tell people that it's not like, it's not important. (laughs) It's not. The end result really isn't all that important. It's, um, you know, just the fact that you are creating something and really for somebody else, you're not making cards for yourself, at least not generally. Um, And some of us do. So (laughs) just get in there. Some of us like to make things and just keep it forever. But yes. I do. I have a, every card that was ever sent to me is in a box in my mm-hmm. house. I don't ever get rid of them. Right. But you also have several drawers of your own that have not. I also don't get home. rid of my own cards. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. I took yeah, 200 I cards to today. I took 200 what? cards to be donated today. That's how many cards I have. <laughs> I mean, it's just like I, I was keep... looking at them going, I can't keep this one anymore. <laughs> it's got to go. I uh, Right. I keep um, I keep them around because I like people to come and um, take whatever they want. If they yeah. come to my house, you can take whatever cards you want. And I, so I have friends that stop by and visit and then they leave with a handful of cards and they all try to pay me. I love it. And I yep. tell them all no. Yep. <laughs> and, um, that's just how it is. So. I yep, I, th- I, I hear you. I love doing that, too. It is. Okay, now 
in the spirit of Tim, Tim, do I need to put a ground underneath this kitty or can I have him float? Oh, for me, oh, float yeah, I him absolutely. Jump up and irritate <laughs> that ornament. Certainly float not. that kitty, <laughs> float that kitty. Well, I was thinking I needed a couple more little ornaments because it's kind of off goofy. <clears throat> Maybe I'm thinking maybe separating the warmest wishes. Halloween card, too. Well, my little black Your kitty. Yeah. He's just a little darling yeah. black kitty. He um card totally has was. a lot has a lot of personality. I think I don't think I can float him. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to have to give him. A little bit of a line. Yeah, I don't there. follow I think the rules. It takes a Most certain of depravity time. to be willing like, to just float it all. <laughs> Much like the analogous or analogous colors. Analogous. What? Analogous. Analogous, whatever. Um, I just don't follow the rules. You know, like if you want to make something that looks brown, then just do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like just have a play. Yeah. You know, don't, yeah. I'm going to not do that. Um, I made that. I, I just followed the rules serious. and made that uh, made that ornament a little wonky, so that'll be okay. Yep, yep. I I do tend to like. Um, I don't know. You don't. I. You may have an innate sense of design because I don't think of you. I don't look at your cards and go, "Oh, she's way off base on her design here." I don't think. I don't see that. So you may I have think some people do. Of, I think you may have a bit of an innate sense of design that you don't even know how well you're doing. <laughs> Could that be? Oh, that's Maybe. I really like how this is turning out. <laughs> Are you going to keep it? I don't hate the gatefold card. <gasps> I'm so proud. Oh, she's keep it. <laughs> now I do always like really simple cards. Like I think that's the. Like, you never know when to stop because you think, oh, this is too simple. You need to put more stuff on it. No, just stop. <laughs> Make a new card. Yep. Yep. But um, I have all my things. I have blue and green. I, in or under the tree is kind of, I mean, the sentiment's under the tree. Under Does that count? Oh, Mr. Producer <laughs> said your sentiment is under the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Tim's like, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm, look, I'm, no, I'm the You're one getting... that's going to sit there and I'm going to follow the literal translation in or under. It's three-dimensional. I'm the engineer. Come on now. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, since Tim, you haven't watched the show, but we do have the Craft Roulette Police. And um, he is corrupt and he is bribable with beer. But And he really? is saying. I like this guy. <laughs> he is saying it's okay because the sentiment is under the tree. Yeah. <gasps> okay, we're, and we're bribable in the same manner, so we, we you know. Just, and there's I, a tie. I, I, I tied a bow. There's blue and green and one and red and Pretty darn black cute. and gray. I don't know. I something tells me to like add maybe some gray snowflakes behind it, but I really like how simple it is. You know, oh, simple is not get, bad. Like, help from the audience. <laughs> you can. Shall we ask him? What do you guys think? Does she need yeah, something behind? Should I behind? add anything else? I can add. I can add snowflakes. I can add sequins. I can add whatever. I I've, I've settled all of my parameters. At I think this you point. have. You were this, fast. I think at I this did point, too. We are just getting bonus points. This is what we call playing with <laughs> That's house right. money. So now you just start to gamble. So what kind of extra points should I earn? <laughs> Here comes the gamble. Oh, there's a cute... I could have done this little bow instead of wasting all my time tying that. <laughs> there's always a die for that. I mean, we have the greatest selection of toys to play with. Yes, we do. In this industry. It's an so, amazing um, selection. Wait a minute now. <laughs> I have some great toys. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell your story? Which one? How you lit a roof on fire? I mean, I can. 
I lit a roof on fire this week. I wasn't going to touch that one. <laughs> well, it's it's a. I mean, it is an interesting story. <clears throat> but um, okay. I mean, I've, I've been doing this a while, you know, and I'm I'm no stranger to this. And um, Monday, interestingly <laughs> enough, I went out and bought a new fire extinguisher. And I think that was just the universe telling me that I was going to need that on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I got up and I did what I, what I always do. And, um, you know, there was a, a squirrel's nest that, that they had dragged up some pine straw up into the soffit of the house. This is a good teaching lesson for, for homeowners, honestly. Yeah. yeah always yeah. check these areas because, this was a squirrel and like homeowners don't go up in their attic and check for these things or in their roof vents or things like that. They just don't. And no. you know, he, he was. Well, I, I found it with the flame of my torch. Yeah. That was the unfortunate. <laughs> he was torching down a roof and you know, it was just a little <laughs> too close and went up. So like tinder. That's what he, I mean, he put it out. <laughs> well, I mean, luckily it was just a, it was just a little smolder. It was just, he didn't uh, burn you know, down I, anyone's house. I, I turned back around after I got done the first run and I, I saw some smoke and I, I shot the, the uh, extinguisher in there and to, uh, tore the roof apart to expose it so I could get the rest of the stuff out of there. But it was, um, oh. it was, in, it was completely packed um, to back full of pine straw oh there wasn't no insulation or anything like that it was just pine straw so oh, yeah so tim was trying to <laughs> use his phone to um i guess like inspect there did i delete it do you still have that picture oh i'm tim? sure I'll delete anything. He, he was using his phone to kind of inspect the area to make sure even things that he couldn't see that the fire was out right mm -hmm. And he accidentally took a picture of his face. <laughs> <laughs> Please find it because it's the only way it. that they can really understand your level of frustration. Can anyone? Can everyone <laughs> see that? <laughs> you have to. You have to change your camera. <laughs> oh. How about that? <laughs> My poor husband. This. This. He looks like he's about to climb Mount, get to the top of Mount Everest, and he's just like on his last. Ugh! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make it. The level of frustration. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that is a good picture. It's good. Oh, he, was a great guy. <laughs> he was like, I actually took this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one more question yeah, for you, so. and this is a this is a nice. We this will be another picture that we need of Tim. But uh, Grandma Gay, who always asks the most thoughtful question of the day, um, asked, wants to know, what brings an instant smile to your face? An instant smile. Dexter. I knew it. I thought that's what it would be. <laughs> that's a really, that's a really easy question. I that mean, kid is such a, he such is, a... Um, I'm, I don't want to just detract from my other children. They are all wonderful and they all make me smile. But him in particular, he's just he's a character. He's just a big ball of fun. Yeah. And he comes yeah. into a room and he just lights it up. You know, I mean sometimes yeah. he's and he's very charismatic. Uh dramatic and mm -hmm. entertaining. So like when he goes in a room, it'll be like <sighs> You're all I am world. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's great. um he really that's like that's the first thing that comes to my mind <clears throat> when I see him in the morning. Doesn't matter how frustrated I was with him the next day. It's always he always makes me smile. Yeah. Yeah. What's your answer, Tim? Beat that Um <laughs> It's not squirrel nests. I mean, oh, I'm I'm beating it? No, it's not squirrel nests. <laughs> no, it's definitely not the squirrel nest. Um, you know, I it's it's a boy. Dexter's uh, you know, Dexter's one of them. You're one of them. You know, I was um, I was going through all that mess with the fire the other day, and I you know thought to myself, you know, just take a take a minute and tell her I love her, and that's pretty much what I did. Um, and y'all know when you get those text messages like "I love you." You're like, what happened? What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Are you What's leading? Unfair? And is this the last time we're speaking? No, it, it wasn't so bad. Yeah, this yeah. time. Oh, wasn't <laughs> this time. 
Well, again, Grandma Gay, you asked a very thoughtful question of the day. Let's go down to hands and look at these cards one more time and put a put a cherry on this show. There's mine. It's a gatefold did, did card. Did anyone say and... my card is too simple? <laughs> no, I think they were liking it. It's clean and simple as is. Okay. Don't add anything. If you add anything, just a watermark snowflake on the outside is Judy. Um, Judy has good oh, taste, so would I would listen to idea. her. <laughs> yeah. Watermark stars or snowflakes would make a good fill. Lynn Sanders, she has good taste, too. Um, yeah. Simplicity speaks to them. They're liking it. They're very um, tempted. I, I like that idea. That, I might try to find mm -hmm. some uh, snowflakes or stars to do some watermark, mm -hmm. and then I'll take the picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would, I think it would add just more interest and a little bit a yeah. little bit of texture either that or some yeah, embossed like panel idea. underneath it would be my other suggestion just a simple embossed of the same color even so well that's why i good, got but... these out and i thought maybe i could do some more gray snowflakes but i really I like the simplicity do... so i yeah i think yeah. i'll grab some stars because i have tons of stars everywhere and do a few of those around it i like that idea ah, great idea yeah yeah. And then this little card is a gatefold. Again, blue, green, plus one is my red. And in or under the tree, we've got Kerwin under the tree. And I tied the little bow right there by just making a writing, <laughs> by drawing the, the little bow. Simple, I don't have anything yeah. inside, but we're good to go. Put a little, sh little bling on there, put a little bit of white dots in the tree, and ink edged. I like your card. I think it's very, for your first skate fold, congratulations. You did well. Thank you. Thank you. You yeah, did it. This is my first yeah. one. That's so exciting. So. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. Oh. Well done. And your little, the little stripes is, is so cute. You were cutting Thank teeny you. tiny pieces. Yeah. And what really, will you do uh, with all I'll your scraps? Them, <laughs> give them the Dexter. <laughs> I do. That's I have a like answer. a, a, I have a, um, here I'll show you. A Dexter mug? Like Laurel Beard not. has her magic of mug? It's not close by. It's a, Basically, like a zipper pocket of die die cuts, uh, off fold things, uh -huh. um, things that uh, you know Dexter can totally play with and make a card with, cool. and I won't. Yeah. So that's and he loves it. So it's around I here bet. somewhere. He does like re that's what he reaches for. I love it. He, he will be he will be a great paper crafter someday, if not now. So that's he neat. asks me for his own channel all the time. <laughs> Cheapers. All the well, time. I tell you what, we do accept pro or uh, we do process videos of past shows or current shows. And he, why don't you have him pick a show that has some parameters that he wants to make a card, maybe yours. And he can do a process oh. video and if, if don't make it too long or anything, but, um, or he can make his card and then just talk about it for his first process video and tell us how he did something special. And then he can be so on craft roulette I, too. I, I love that idea. I put him and his um, sister, um, Olivia down here to film them making a card. It was several months ago. And I did it really to test a drive that I wanted to use, and <laughs> the, the footage got stuck on there. I couldn't get the footage off of it. It was, oh. like, corrupted. So I, oh. I couldn't see what was on there, which was a total bummer. And mm. I only walked down here, like, occasionally. I don't like to interrupt him. I just like him to film whatever he wants, right? Yeah. And But he he's kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, like, he has political um, opinions and... <laughs> <laughs> and he he's he's out there like he will tell you what he thinks and so <laughs> i was interested to see what was on there and it's not <laughs> so total bummer next but he loves maybe next being time, in front yeah. of the camera i think he can hold his own i have a hunch i got he a hunch all right you too extreme <laughs> <laughs> Very good. well we do preview them 
Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and let you get uh, take a breather, and we're going to tell people how they can play the game and do some giveaways and things like that. And then we're going to come back to you and let you say goodnight. How's that sound? You've done the okay. hard part. All right. You did it. Cool. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, patrons, for making us possible to go on the air and help us defray some costs. We do have them. It's just a silly thing, but we do. I don't understand it. We do want to thank each and every one of you for your part in our support. We will be having that phone call tomorrow, so if your name's not on there, you still have time to join us. So just go to Patreon, Mary Gun Fun, and sign up tonight. I think that will carry you on through January too, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, we'd love to have you on the call tomorrow. We will be making those cards. If you can't be join us, make some cards and donate them to somewhere nearby, or cards for soldiers, or whoever you like to send cards to as a donation charity, and send it to. Let us know in the Fun University Lounge Facebook group so we can count you, and we'll get closer to ten grand. I think it's a very exciting time for us. So thank you, patrons. See you tomorrow. You guys can play along with us. If you make a gatefold card, use blue, green, plus your color of choice. Neutrals are always free. Have the element be in or under the tree. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And include something about tide. Um, that'll be fun, too. It'll be fun for you to decide what you want to do for Tide. Send that to craftroulette.live. There is a submission form. Do it by Sunday night at midnight central time, and we will feature you on our blog and then on not next week's show, <laughs> but the week after show. I will tell you about that, too, while we're here. Next week, Friday. Oh, wait. Next, we've got upcoming guests coming. So our next show is December 31st with Justine Hovey. It is already, we have already done the show. It will be recorded, but we will be doing a premiere release of it right here on YouTube. She is seven hours earlier than we are, so or late, we're later. We're earlier. I can't. Right brain, left brain, left brain, right brain. Um, earlier. Anyway, she is. Our time zones just don't work together, and it's seven hours different. So we went ahead and taped it. It's a fun show. I we're gonna ha go ahead and fill in all the other things before we release it for the December thirty first end of the year gala <laughs> with um, Justine. So next week we will be having my twin sister Mary Claus. Um, actually, we're going to release it a little early, but we will be having Mary Claus on the channel reading a children's story for children of all ages, Santa's Long Pants. So we will uh, be watching for that, and then we will be back that next week. And then we'll start off January with Jessica Taylor, Daniel West, Cassie Trask, and Stacy Stacy. So don't miss a week. You're always invited to join us. I think I covered everything on that, didn't I? Oh, oh I got the wrong one. Okay. <coughs> you might have some problems. There we go. A little, 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 little. We got our giveaway time here. That, that confetti always means it's time to give something away. So I'm going to give away a copy of Santa's Long Pants. I did the illustrations for it mucho, mucho many years ago, like 42 years ago. And I will sign it for you. So... If you sent in a card last week, your name will be on this wheel, and we will see if you win. Shall we count you down? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, we figured you guys need to be with family on Christmas Eve, so, and we do too. Well, Patty Beck, I'm going to send you a copy of Santa's Long Pants, girl. How fun. I hope you like it. I know your address. Don't worry about it. And I know you're going to send in a card again. Patty Beck is a force of nature when it comes to craft roulette. I can't imagine a show without her. So, well done. Wait, what? You want two or three more things to give away? Do you want to do another Santa's Long Pants? Well, let's do another Santa's Long Pants then. It's Christmas, Mr. Producer says. He doesn't always feel so benevolent, so we better take advantage of it. 
Oop, that doesn't have any ink on it. No, it's a pencil. Of course it doesn't have any ink on it. Patty, I don't even have to put her last name. <laughs> Grandma Gay! Oh, how wonderful. I am so excited. The wheel is so intuitive. I love the wheel. I have a pri I have a book for you too, Grandma Gay. And then two goodie bags? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Pre Mr. Producer. Got a couple goodie bags and oh, I forgot on my Look at this. Vicky Tillett sent me this whole box. I will send I will show you the cards next on the next show. Goody box, goody box, goody box. Lisa Hall. And one more. You need to contact me before six or uh, before midnight on Sunday to make sure that you want it. And to send me your yeah, address. I have grabbed my gaze. Beep, beep. Ah, Catherine Taylor. I bet she'll want it. That's what I'm guessing. But do contact me using the contact form on craftroulette.live and we'll get you taken care of. Um, anyway, I got this box from Vicki Tillett today. It's full of stamps and Piper pumpkin kits and ribbon and paper. It's going to make some wonderful goodie bags and some really cute cards. I will show those to you on the next show on December 31st. All right. Thank you, Vicki. Let's bring back this little lady again and... Tim, there she is. Well, what do you think? You made it through your first craft roulette. That's an accomplishment. I had a lot of fun. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad that I could uh, figure out the gatefold because I've never made that before. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't, I feel like the parameters were okay. It just kind of made you think like, how can you make this work? Right. I think it's fun. Right. Exactly. And if you... If you kind of log lock into it and get your go ahead and get that thought process going, it, I, we've never had any parameters in a long time that couldn't be figured out and figured out in very many ways. It's really fun. Yeah, I just love it. I just love it how it often how many different things can happen. So we were just delighted to have you. And, and Tim, well, thank to join you for us having during me. this busy time. I know you've been had sickness in your house and uh, fires on the roof, <laughs> and, uh, and it's been a hard week. But maybe it turned around. You did fine. We didn't have well, any catastrophes, so yeah, yeah. We That's had a, we had it's already our, turned around. Our early our early go at our at our snafus on the tech side. We got past that. We, this actually went. We did. This has been great. Wonderful. I'm so glad oh, you yeah. guys came. This well, is we great. Wish Thank you... you for doing this and entertaining everyone in this way and for doing so much work. Well, I love you, it. you know what that's like, too. I know you know because yeah. you do a lot for, <laughs> for uh, improving the, uh, the, the vibe of the community and adding a lot of personality and fun. So I just want everyone to have a good to time. You. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the truth. Why why fuss? Right? Life, life's too short to not have a good time. We gotta have a good time every day. It is. It is. Especially when you're crafting, when you're getting to do some a ha a hobby that is something you've chosen to do, you should yeah, don't stress over it. Have some good times. So Well, this is the time That's of night like when the roof we on fire. <laughs> you could probably have a new technique, Tim. Get some straw and light it yeah. on fire and put it I on the card. I bet you'll never not check for them again. Yeah. Like, I think you're going to really be more meticulous from this point on. I'm just going to let somebody else do it. <laughs> so, oh, I'll tell you about the bats that were living under our shutter sometime. 25 oh, wow. or more bats. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's for another time. <laughs> I believe it. This... This time is for kissing our brains, for giving ourselves a little time to craft and get to know each other and have some fun. Mwah! We just give our yeah, little brains a little you. kiss. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> it, it seems funny, but it feels good. And then we like to blow. 
I blow a kiss to our viewers because you guys have been steadfast viewing tonight. I've just seen, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments tomorrow. Send those cards in this weekend if you have a chance. I know it's going to be busy, but we'd love to hear from you. Just remember to check off those parameters and join us for some fun. And we will see you. Mary Claus will be seeing you later this week. And then we will see you for um, Justine Hovey on New Year's Eve. Thank you so much. You better much, be careful Corey. with that Daniel West. You think? Do I need to have a... <laughs> Daniel West, he's a troublesome guy. What do you know oh, about? I like to talk for... about inappropriate things. <laughs> I'm fully blaming Daniel for my whole arm in it. I love thing. him. He's fabulous. I he'll was talking have, to him earlier today. Yeah. I'm looking forward to meeting him. So, all right. He's well, great. you all have a Merry Christmas, and we will see you at the end of the year. Merry Christmas to your family, Corey and Tim and Dexter. And you as well. I bet you'll have fun. Thank you. You too. And, and we will see you in 2022. 2022. <laughs> Bye, night, night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bye, Producer. everyone. Bye-bye. Merry Thank Christmas. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.